Recently, Mission Control and NASA's Voyager 2 spacecraft, which is exploring the interstellar realm outside of our solar system, were unable to communicate with one another. The spacecraft was unable to communicate with Earth for months, neither sending nor receiving any data. However, in an unexpected turn of events, it transmitted a signal to Earth to let everyone know that it was still alive and well. What does it signify for the future of this illustrious mission and how did this happen? In this video, I'll discuss what went wrong, how NASA got in touch with us again, and why Voyager 2 is so crucial to our understanding of the cosmos. One of the two identical spacecraft, Voyager 2, was launched in 1977 with the goal of exploring the outer planets of our solar system and beyond. It is currently more than 130 times further from Earth than the Sun, or approximately 12.4 billion miles away. NASA employs a system of enormous radio antennas known as the Deep Space Network, or DSN, to interact with it. The DSN can send and receive messages from far-off spacecraft. However, something went awry in July of this year. A series of intended commands from NASA to Voyager 2 accidentally rotated the spacecraft's antenna two degrees away from Earth. This was sufficient to break its connections to the DSN, preventing it from returning any data or receiving any directives from Earth. Although NASA was aware of their error, nothing could be done until the subsequent reorientation maneuver, which was scheduled for October 15. They had to wait and pray that Voyager 2 would continue on its intended course without any issues. The NASA had previously lost communication with Voyager 2 before. In actuality, a problem with the spacecraft's power system caused it to go silent for several days in January 2020. By issuing a command that reset the system and resumed communication, NASA was able to resolve the issue, but things were different this time. Voyager 2 needed to point its antenna back to Earth before NASA could issue commands, and they weren't sure when that would happen. What then led to this recent breakdown in communication? It was the outcome of a complicated series of commands that NASA claims were intended to test some of Voyager 2's equipment and systems. One of the instrument's heaters was turned on by one of these commands, and another instrument's malfunctioning instrument was turned off. Another command changed the data rate used to relay data back to Earth. These instructions were meant to be carried out in a precise order and window of time, but for some reason they got muddled up and the antenna rotated away from Earth. According to NASA, this was a sad and uncommon occurrence that was unlikely to occur again. In order to avoid similar mistakes in the future, they added that they were examining their policies and procedures. On August 1st, though, something unexpected happened. Voyager 2 was still transmitting its carrier signal, or heartbeat, as the DSN detected a weak signal from it. This signal serves as a kind of primitive form of communication that alerts NASA about the spacecraft's continued operation and readiness for directives. It does not, however, include any scientific data or status information for the mission. Although NASA was overjoyed to hear from Voyager 2 once more, they still faced a difficult task. To tell Voyager 2 to orient its antenna back at Earth, they had to make an attempt at sending a command. They would have to wait until October for the automatic reset if it didn't succeed. Fortunately, on August 3, they sent a successful command and successfully resumed complete communication with Voyager 2 after numerous failed tries. Why is communicating with Voyager 2 so crucial? Because it is one of the most important sources of knowledge about the region of space outside of our solar system. Only two spacecraft, including Voyager 2, have ever made it to this part of space, where the effect of our sun is weak and that of other stars is stronger. Voyager 1 is the other spacecraft. It crossed interstellar space in 2012 and is now 15 billion miles from Earth. NASA can get data from its equipment that measure the temperature, pressure, density, and speed of the interstellar plasma or gas that surrounds it by talking with Voyager 2. This information can aid in our understanding of the formation and interactions of our solar system with the rest of the galaxy. We can use it to find any alterations or anomalies in the interstellar environment that could one day have an impact on our planet or other spacecraft. For instance, in 2019, Voyager 2 saw a dramatic rise in interstellar plasma density when it crossed the heliopause, a boundary that separates the solar wind from the interstellar wind. Voyager 1 also noticed this spike six years prior, but it was in a different area. This implies that there may be some unrecognized variations or fluctuations in the interstellar plasma. A different orientation of the interstellar magnetic field was observed by Voyager 2 compared to Voyager 1 which may indicate that the heliosphere, the bubble of magnetic fields and other particles that surrounds our solar system and shields it from harmful cosmic rays, has a different structure. 
These are only a few of the intriguing discoveries Voyager 2 has made so far and is still making as it journeys across interstellar space. NASA can learn more about this enigmatic and uncharted region of space and uncover fresh information about our cosmic beginnings and future by staying in touch with it. During their extended space voyage, Voyagers 1 and 2 achieved amazing discoveries and accomplishments. They have traveled to all four of the solar system's biggest planets, Jupiter, Saturn, Uranus, and Neptune, and have disclosed a wealth of information about their magnetic fields, atmospheres, rings, and moons. Additionally, they have seen phenomena like the geysers on the moon Triton of Neptune and the volcanic outbursts on Jupiter's moon Io. They have also seen the tilted axis of Uranus and the unexplained hexagon on Saturn's North Pole. However, the fact that they were the first human-made objects to enter interstellar space may be their most astounding accomplishment. The region between stars known as solar space is uncharted territory for spacecraft. Cosmic rays, dust particles, and magnetic fields that are distinct from those in our solar system are all present there. Voyager 1 and Voyager 2 can shed light on how our solar system arose and how it interacts with the rest of the cosmos by observing this environment. Golden disks with sounds and images of Earth are also being carried by Voyager 1 and Voyager 2 as a very special message for any conceivable alien civilization that may come across them in the future. The recordings contain greetings in 55 different languages, music from other civilizations, bird and wave noises, and images of people, animals, and landscapes. The data represents the diversity and history of humanity and is built to persist for billions of years. Carl Sagan, a well-known astronomer and scientific communicator who worked on the Voyager missions, advocated the notion of delivering these records. To share with any intelligent species that could exist elsewhere in the universe, he planned to make a time capsule that would capture the essence of life on Earth. Additionally, he wished to encourage people to value the Earth and their position in the universe. The albums are made up of a wide range of sounds and visuals that showcase the beauty and diversity of Earth and its inhabitants. The noises include music by Batch, Beethoven, Chuck Berry, Blind Willie Johnson, Louis Armstrong, Mozart, Stravinsky, and many others. Other sounds include a baby crying, a mother kissing her child, a train whistle, a thunderstorm, a heartbeat, laughter, and a baby laughing. Among the pictures are a sunrise, a sunset, a mountain range, an ocean wave, a flower, a tree, an elephant, a whale, a bird, a human face, a family photo, an earth map, a DNA diagram, a Van Gogh painting, and many more. The records also come with instructions on how to play them with an electric motor and phonograph needle. They also show how to identify Earth and respect to a number of pulsars, or rapidly rotating stars that generate radio waves, using mathematical figures and graphs. These pulsars serve as cosmic lighthouses that can be used to guide space travel. Each spacecraft has a plaque with an image of a man and a woman standing next to the outline of the spacecraft, and these records fasten to the outside. The plaque also displays our sun's position in relation to 14 pulsars with known periods. The plaque is intended to convey details about who launched the spacecraft and their origins. Nobody is anticipated to discover the records anytime soon. Tens of thousands of years will pass before they arrive at another star system. Furthermore, there is no assurance that they will be able to comprehend or value other civilizations even if they do. However, they continue to serve as examples of our species' ingenuity and curiosity. Additionally, they serve as a reminder that we are not the only beings in the vast and stunning world. We appreciate your interest in this episode. Please like, share, and subscribe to our channel if you found it enjoyable. I'll see you later.